are big tech companies like Facebook, Apple, and Google doing enough to stop the spread of child pornography? One local sheriff says no. So I team investigator Adam Walser looked into which companies are reporting millions of cases, which are hardly reporting any at all, and what experts say can be done to address this disturbing problem. Child pornography shared in the darkest dungeons of the World Wide Web seized last month by Polk County investigators. You're finding things that you can't even conceive of or we talk about publicly. Sheriff Grady Judd says the material is getting worse. Two years old, four years old, seven years old, eight years old. This last case, this guy brought his little girl, since she was six, over to this other guy for them to sexually batter her while they took videos of it. And you're finding children from Polk County have been sent out all over the world. In the last operation, which we just had, we identified five child victims. Five. The numbers are huge. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, or NCMEC, operates the cyber tip line, which tracks reports of child sexual abuse materials. Last year, the center received 21.4 million reports of child sexual exploitation, almost 60,000 tips a day. It was an increase of 28% from the year before. 65.4 million photos and videos were reported to Nick Mick last year, almost as many images as the number of children who live in the United States, estimated at 73 million. Most tips come from electronic service providers, which include big tech companies like Facebook, Google, and Apple. They are required to report known child sexual abuse materials under a law enacted in 1999. The creation and the distribution of this type of material has lifelong effects on these survivors. Lindsay Olson, who oversees the Child Exploitation Division of NCMEC, says her organization serves as a clearinghouse, collecting and analyzing data from those electronic service providers, then sending leads to law enforcement. The companies that are voluntarily, proactively searching for this type of content on their platform and then removing it and reporting it to the cyber tip line are typically using um, you know, different types of hashing technology um, to, to find that content. That technology flags previously identified child sexual abuse content when it's uploaded to file share programs, websites, or apps. Retired Secret Service agent Gus Dimitrellis has conducted thousands of child porn investigations over 25 years. Anything that's stored or shared is being hashed by the provider, meaning that a digital fingerprint, a unique fingerprint is assigned to a file. Now understand, there are no two files in the entire universe that have the same hash value. This NCMEC report identifies hash values of 360 images from a pedophile's collection. They come from 16 previously identified series with names like 90s Necklace, Ballet Girl, and Colored Zebra Case. We cannot stop it by ourselves. There's too many ways with technology today, there's too many ways to hide it. That's why Judd says tech companies need to play a bigger role in identifying and removing it. This report from Nick Mick shows not all electronic service providers are reporting at the same level. Facebook leads the list, sharing 20.3 million tips to the cyber tip line after identifying known images shared through the social media platform. A lot of these folks who distribute child pornography will set up an account, a burner account, uh, for the purposes of distributing child porn, so it's up and down in two days. Other sites are not reporting nearly as many images. Under this law, is there any way to, to force them to, to take a closer look at this material? The law does not require anyone to proactively look for this type of content on their system. It's really up to each individual company. Google, which accounts for 90% of internet searches, made 546,000 reports. Twitter, with 200 million users, generated just 65,000 reports. And Apple, which has 113 million iPhone users in the U.S. alone, made just 265 reports last year. Now, how is it that all of Apple report 265 against 20 million that Facebook reports? And this one agency, just the sheriff's office here, has received more Nick Nick tips in the first nine months than Apple's reported. The idea is that Apple is 
on the side of privacy. The device itself doesn't alert to child porn. It's only when that file is shared through an electronic service provider, ESP, then the alert happens. We're not talking about infringing on people's privacy. People are trusting your system to send data through it. Just pill out the child porn pieces. We contacted Apple and they sent us a statement saying the company will soon update its operating system and that will allow Apple to detect known child sex abuse material images stored in iCloud photos, which will allow Apple to report these instances to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The company also says the Messages app will add new tools to warn children and their parents when receiving or sending sexually explicit photos. There's a finite number of people that deal in this horrific stuff. It's not a bottomless well. It can be stopped, and it can be stopped rather easily by our tech giants who employ tech geniuses. But some tech geniuses say there are so many different ways pedophiles use to share kitty porn, they don't expect it to go away anytime soon. In 25 years now, have we made a dent? No, so it's not going anywhere. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.